Hey guys. Um, hey, happy Sunday. I love Sunday. Sundays are great. Happy Sunday. Um, I won't be on here long. I'm actually about to leave the house. But uh, I just want to come on right quick, a um, couple of updates, and just give y'all testimony about my yesterday. So yesterday was pretty awesome. So um, we're still in this challenge. It's day 26 of this challenge. So whew, we're in the long, we're in long stretch now. So like we're almost, the challenge ends, what, Friday or so? And so tomorrow I'll come on, 6 a.m. as usual. I know it's Memorial Day. I'll still be on here at 6 a.m. You can go back to sleep afterwards, you know? Um, so I'll be on here. I'll pray in the morning. So, not, yeah, 6 a.m. Um, our verse was First John. I know it was 14 and 15. What chapter was it? Yikes. Um, it was in First John. That's what I can tell you. But basically, let me see if I can find it right quick. It was basically like a verse that was kind of uh, found in the concordance. Um, that was similar to Mark 11, 24, because originally I was going to do that verse in Mark 11, 24, but then I was like, that was going to be one of the verses we focused on. But then I was like, uh, I don't know. Let me see if I can find it right quick. Because I did highlight it. And, but I highlight a lot. And that was a while. That was a whole week ago. So I'll probably have... First John. No, that's not the right one. Well, I know. Go back to the last one, to be honest. Actually, I know exactly where I can find it right quick. But anyways, as I look for that, um, um, it's basically a verse that's very much similar to the one we did last week. So basically, I mean, as similar to our Mark 11 and um, 24 verse. And basically saying the same thing. If you ask for a thing, believe it, you receive it. It's all, they're all, it was, I wanted to give us something else that was kind of similar, you know? So like, just in case... Well, basically, my reasoning was that um, if we have multiple verses that kind of, like, speak to the same thing, it kind of strengthens our faith. Like, maybe the enemy could come and tell you, oh, well, God, was, God didn't really say that. You know, like, the enemy could easily say that and convince us, like, if we don't have a backup verse or if we don't know, like, um, if we don't have something else to like back it up with. So if you have multiple verses that all say the same thing, then that's something you can stand on and be a little bit stronger than if you only had one. At least that's my thought process with it. First John 5. Ooh, good grief. We were going to find it eventually. So it's First John 5, uh, 14 and 15. And I can read it to you right quick. Uh, it basically says, now this is the confidence that we have in him, that we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And we know that he hears us. Wherever we ask, we know that we will have the petitions that we have asked for them. So basically saying that God hears us, that standing on the fact that God heard us, that if we ask a thing, that we'll receive it, basically, which is very much similar to what we've been saying. So you ask a thing, you believe that you can have it, you can have it. Um, so, yeah. So that was the verse for this week. We're still pressing into that. Um, that was just another one to kind of just increase our faith. So like to have something to stand on, to uh, build up like our um, foundations, basically. So that's the verse we're looking at. On Wednesday, we'll do our last verse. Um, I want to tell you guys the verse, but I'm going to let it be a surprise. It's not a surprise. Y'all have already heard me say this verse. Um, but um, that'll be our last verse. And it'll be, it's just something, because Wednesday is the last verse, but the challenge literally is on Friday. So it's like, oh, I only had two days to focus on the verse. But no, this is the verse that's supposed to keep you after the challenge. Like after the challenge is over, like, you don't want to just drop off and just be like, okay, that was cute for a month. I did this thing. And that's it. Now, this last verse is to sustain you, you know, and keep you going, basically. So I think that's going to be really cool. So tomorrow, 6 a.m., I'll be on a prayer. So you guys can join me if you want. It's cool. Um, so, yeah, yesterday. So um, I did. Did I have plans for yesterday? I didn't really have plans for my Saturday, honestly. Um, I was just kind of like, God, you know, wherever you want to do, however you feel like leaving me today, I'm cool with it, you know. And I made sure that I positioned myself where I could really hear from God, where I could really sense what he was trying to do, where I was very much um, aware of what was going on and aware of his presence and what he wants me to do for the day. And so, like, I think I was just writing, like, I journal, you guys know I journal my prayers. So I was just praying, and I wasn't praying for anything particular, I don't think. Let me see yesterday. What was I praying for yesterday? I don't even remember, but it wasn't in, like, super deep or nothing. It was just like, you know, I was actually, it was more like a prayer of Thanksgiving. Like, I had a pretty awesome week, so I was just, you know, saying thanks um, to God for that, basically. And then God reminded me of this project that I had been working on. Um, it didn't actually take me that long to do, but there was a couple of things that I basically just didn't finish. And there was a couple of things I had been pushing off. And I was like, okay, I'll do that later. And like, I really kind of just 
that whole project went to like a complete standstill. And so like, I thought my yesterday was going to be, because like, okay, if I'm alone, God to lead me. I thought it's going to be a day full of just like prayer and reading the Bible. Like I thought that's where we was going, but that's not where we went. God ended up reminding me of that project and literally broke it down. It's like, okay, you literally only have a couple more steps and this thing is done. And so like, I was like, all right. And like, he was like, first, okay, work on this part. And then he was like, okay, work, work on this. And then I started doing a little bit more research and I really saw how much closer I was to actually being finished with this thing. I'm not going to tell you guys just yet because I'm not really ready to release it, but like, it's, it's pretty dope. I'm really proud of it, actually. But anyways, and like in the couple of hours, like that whole thing is pretty much done. Like I said, it's like a couple of finishing things where I have to, you know, collaborate with someone else with. But as far as my part of it, it's done. And I'm just like, wow, I've literally been procrastinating on this thing for months. Like I could have been had this thing done. And just like I never got done with it, I never finished it. And so just the fact that, you know, God, that's where God led me yesterday. God led me to finish this particular project. So I just wanted to like briefly encourage you guys, like one, just allow God to just have a hold of your schedule. Particularly now, I know sometimes like if we have work or whether it's like a bit a bit a little bit harder to like really give over our schedules, or if it's something you're new to, you're not really comfortable with. But like if you know you have a day, you're not doing nothing. Just love God to have that day and just see where he takes you because you never know. Like, honestly, I thought this project was going to be way bigger, way more daunting than I, I I thought that it actually would be. I thought finishing and really producing this thing was going to be a really hard task. Everybody makes it seem like, oh, this is so difficult. But honestly, it's like, yo, like, this is not hard at all. And so, like, but it was literally God leading me through the process and then like showing me, hey, you can get this done. You can do this. Like you're already equipped with everything you need to do this thing. So I just want to encourage you guys. Allow God to have like a moment of your time. Allow him, if you don't feel comfortable enough to give him your entire day, like give him part of the day. Give him your morning or whatever, you know, and just see how much more you can get done through God. Just see what he wants you to do. Just see like how he wants to grow you in whatever moment or whatever. Just allow him to have full reign over your day or a moment or whatever. And just see what happens. Like honestly, you might get something done that you never thought you could do or something that you thought could would take way longer to have it done in like an hour. Like literally, it was like two hours. And I was like, man, that was it. That's all I had to do. That was that quick, that simple. And like I literally got all this stuff done. Like this project is pretty much complete. And like, wow, I literally been procrastinating for months for something that took me like two hours to do. So yeah, I just want to encourage you guys. Like I know it's kind of, it's kind, it can be a daunting task. It can be kind of like, oh, kind of nervous. Like, I don't know what God might have me doing, which is still my case a lot of the times. But like, just trust Him. Like, I'm hoping that over this month that we, as as we, you know, pray more, as we talk to God more, as we learn more about God, as we give Him more, ask more of Him, and we receive those things. I'm hoping that not only is our faith is being increased, that we're trusting Him more. So like, if we're in this position where we're trusting God more, um, like keep going, keep extending it, go bigger, go greater, like give him more, like give him more of you. That's what he desires. He wants us. He literally created us because he loves us. So he wants us. He wants to spend time with us. He wants to help us. Like he already knows how everything's going to end. So it's like, why be out here struggling when literally God already knows what's going to happen. So you really just got to, you know, seek him for it. So, but part of that's just building up your trust. And like, you know, you might not have the greatest background. You might not might have a rocky, rocky start or whatever. And I, I totally get it, you know. But, like, allow God to, like, prove it to you. That Prove that he, you can trust him. Prove that you can love him. Prove that he can be everything in your life for your life. You know, prove that he can be your provider. You know, let him prove that to you. I promise you guys, he will not disappoint. So, yeah, um, that's pretty much it. I'm about to get off. Um, I'm trying to think of any other updates. So yeah, no, not really. Um, my, my, tomorrow morning prayer, Wednesday is gonna be the last scripture, and then Friday that's the end of this thing. But if you guys have any testimonies about it, um, how if you were participated and this helped you, like I would love to know. Like let me know, encourage me, cause like I encourage you guys. You guys can encourage me too, cause sometimes I'll be struggling too. Like I'm like, whoo, that was a big task. That's a little bit more than my faith to push me. But then your testimony might be something that I need to help me believe more. So, yeah, definitely let me know that. Um, mm, 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 yes, pretty much it. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you guys, you know, go to church today, too. It is 9 15. You can get dressed right now and get there. So, like, make it happen. Um, you can go to my church if you want. But if not, if you're too far away, you can go to somebody else's church. But, like, just get there. Be in the house of the Lord. Don't forsake the gathering of the saints. <laughs> All right, guys, bye. I will talk to you guys actually tomorrow, yeah. I'll be on tomorrow morning.
So if you guys want, you can join me. It's going to be awesome. So I'll see you guys then.